in this video, I've got something a little different. It's this book. Hopefully you can read or somehow decipher that it says Scholastic Book of World Records 2005 in pretty pristine condition. For some reason it reminds me of the book that Biff brought back. Or I guess Marty brought it back. In Back to the Future. You know. When he went to 2015. fictitious event which happened actually very recently or I should say that the date came to pass we don't have hoverboards the Cubs didn't win the World Series it was all a lie but anyways, I remember I used to buy these from, uh, well, I was going to say my elementary school book fair, but that can't have been where I got this one, because I was well out of elementary school. In 2005. But anyways, I used to read through these when I was younger all the time. And they made me feel really smart. Because I knew all the world records of everything. Um, I still got the previous five years before this worth of these books. Sitting on the shelf, but... I decided to I decided to pick this one up since it was 10 years ago and basically to see what sorts of things what sorts of records or whatever are, you know, very different, um, you know, see what's changed and what remains the same. So without further ado, I'm going to start flipping through and look for anything interesting that um, is worth mentioning or reading.
says that. This is fun. The highest paid TV actor is Ray Romano. Back in, well, it says money earned per episode during the 2003 to 2004 season. It says he earned a hundred and, er, fuck, $1.75 million per episode. I never liked that show. Can't possibly be the case now. He was followed by the three guys from Friends who each made a million dollars per episode. Now, also on the female side of this, I guess, um, record or statistic, the three women from Friends were also the three highest paid television actresses who they all made a million per episode as well. That seems like a lot, but I'm sure they aren't making uh, that much money anymore. Not a big Ray Romano fan. Here's a couple that have been uh, eclipsed massively in the past 10 years. The world's largest pre-approved movie budget was for Terminator 3. It's hard to believe that even at any time that was the case, but... Apparently, $170 million was quite a bit pre-Avatar times. Speaking of which, the best opening weekend at the movies at the time was for Spider-Man. The Tobey Maguire version. Um, I'm sure that's not even on the top ten anymore of anything. Uh, although, with uh, Star Wars coming out. I'm sure whatever is on there now will change as well. I'm going to look through this a little bit more and try to find another section.
one that's interesting is it says the world's highest internet use and it says that Iceland is the country with the highest per capita internet use um, at 599 users per 1,000 inhabitants. So only 60% of the country was connected to the internet. And that was the highest rate per person. It's unbelievable. Honestly, I mean, it's got to be almost every country in the world, other than the, I mean, crappiest places, have that rate of internet use. I would think. Picture you've got the little Nordic kids playing on their f Windows 95, whatever. It's whack how the world's changed. It really is. I'm having to kind of maintain an awkward kind of posture to uh, do this, so bear with me. The world's most visited website, AOL.com. MSN was second. Yahoo was third, and eBay was fourth. I guess it was before the social media craze took over. The world's best selling video game at the time was. Pokemon Ruby version. I guess that's not entirely surprising. I'm going to skip to another section entirely here. It may sound like normal ambiance, but I don't know who the fuck is flying a plane that sounds like that in what is currently basically the middle of the night. Just thought I'd make a comment about that. Sorry. Hopefully I'll remember to edit that 
sound out. Though I rarely do. The country that eats the most potato chips. The United States of America. That almost certainly has not changed. It's also the country that consumes the most soft drinks. That almost certainly has not changed either. The tallest mountains, Mount Everest. I don't think that one's going anywhere either. You'd think they'd, um, you know, keep a more dynamic set of records. <laughs> Fuck. I really hope I remember to cut that out. But if not, and I woke you up days from now, I'm very sorry. The world's largest ocean still the Pacific. Yeah, none of this natural shit is changing. That's a fuck's sake. Alright, human made record. In the back of the book, but this was what I was looking for. I'm sure that a lot of this stuff is very different now. So let's see. The world's tallest habitable building says the Taipei 101 um, yeah that's that's not anymore it says it's 1,666 feet in height um, the New World Trade Center is taller than that, for sure. And obviously that giant building they built in Dubai is much taller than that. So we have um, definitely beat that record. most visited city in 2005 was Tijuana, Mexico. Uh, there's just no, there's no fucking way that's still the world's most visited city. It says 35 million people visited Tijuana in 2004. I don't believe that for a second, but whatever. It's definitely not the case now with the uh, drug cartel troubles that they have. The country with the most 
cars on here by far it's the United States but it's almost surely um, well, I actually think I read recently that China has more cars and even manufacture more cars, I think, there too. So this is just completely changed. Here's another, the world's most valuable production car, Ferrari Enzo. Oh my god. $650,000. I mean, that's expensive, but um, I guess this was pre Bugatti Veyron type of, um, of a time, so. That's cute. $650,000. Jesus Christ. Now I'm just trying to get to the end. I tire myself out with this stuff. Pretty badly, but... I swear, some of this stuff is just from a different era. I know it's only 10 years ago, but like, it's a statistic or whatever for the most valuable t television. And it's a picture of a projector. And it says that it costs two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. There's a little write up on all of these. So I'm just going to read this one because why not? It says with a two hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollar price tag. The Runco MBX-1 is the most valuable television in the world, although it is classified as a TV. This pricey entertainment unit works just like a projector. The television programming enters the projector like it would on a normal television set. And then the unit projects the images onto a screen or wall. This digital projector can fill a screen up to 500 inches wide, about the width of an average movie screen, with perfect clarity. sound like you know what I'm going to sound like but I mean now you well I just feel sorry for any sucker who spent a fourth of a million dollars on a projector 10 years ago because I think I think I saw this um, being used in like elementary Spanish class or you know remedial Spanish class in college exactly it might have been this one in the picture 
most valuable baseballs, Mark McGuire's 70th home run baseball. That's probably, it's probably still a fact. Since the steroids and all that back in the day, baseball hasn't been very interesting in the last 10 years, I would Top selling car, Toyota Camry. This is by the 2003 model. So, if you have a 2003 Toyota Camry, then you're you're a part of something important. <laughs> the second high-selling cars was the 2003 Honda Accord at the time, which up until recently was the car that I drove, but it was, um, it died, unfortunately. The world's poorest country was Sierra Leone, with the average person living off of $500 a year, roughly. Um, I'd like to say they've rebounded a little bit since then, but I'm sure still not a great place to be. Alright, well, looks like that lasted about a half an hour, and it was very interesting to learn what I already know. Um, which I'm, I'm blanking on right now. But, you know, it's 2015, almost 2016. <sighs> well, I'll do it.